Hi folks, how's it going? This is my companion video to the, the last video I shot, which was my uh, vinyl record pickups from the local Friends of the Library sale. This video is going to be just the, uh, the CDs I picked up at the sale. I picked up about 30 CDs, more than I've picked up in sales past. I've uh, been buying a lot more CDs lately. They're just uh, they're going for dirt cheap now. Most of these CDs I think I paid 50 cents for, or uh, less. Some of them I picked up on the the second to last day of the sale when everything was half price, they'd be a quarter piece. The most expensive, I think, was $2. Um, so really cheap. And uh, really convenient to listen to. I'm spending a lot more time listening to music in the car. Uh, just grab a CD in the morning, listen to it on the way to work and the way back. and That way I kind of really absorb a whole, uh, whole album at a time, just listening to it kind of repeatedly in the car. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Uh, 95% of what's here or more is uh, jazz. Um, just been picking up a lot of jazz stuff lately. Uh, I don't know, it's just kind of where my, my interest has gone lately. Um, I do pick up some different stuff on vinyl, uh, especially the record store, but uh, used stuff uh, focus mostly on jazz. So uh, I've got these in alphabetical order. I'm going to try to go through pretty quick. Uh, the guitarist Lorindo Almeida and sax player Bud Shank. This is uh, Brazilians Volume 2 on Pacific Jazz. Uh, Chet Baker Sings. It could happen to you. Chet Baker Sings on uh, Riverside. An original Jazz Classics reissue. Bob Brookmeyer and Friends from uh, Columbia Records, I believe. And Friends include, uh, you can see there, uh, Herbie Hancock, uh, Ron Carter, Gary Burton, Elvin Jones. Pretty interesting session. Dave Brubeck, Jazz Goes to College, one of the early uh, Columbia CD reissues with some ugly artwork there. Paul Desmond, um, Cool Imagination, a reissue by Bluebird, which I believe was a, a subsidiary of RCA, reissued some of their older jazz stuff. Duke Ellington, Ellington at Newport. Uh, Art Farmer, Portrait of Art Farmer, great trumpet player, another original jazz classics reissue. Red Garland, Keystones, uh, live recording from, I guess, the Keystone Club, I think, with uh, Leroy Vinegar on bass, Philly Joe Jones on drums. This is uh, recorded, I think, in the late 70s for the Xanadu label. Kind of unusual, I don't see too many of these on CD. And uh, I like it. Still got the original used uh, price sticker on there. Kind of gives you an idea of what a lot of my uh, CD collection. That's probably about what I paid for used CDs: eight ninety nine, nine dollars, ten bucks. And yeah, now you can pick them up for a dollar or less easily. Jimmy Geoffrey, the uh, Jimmy Geoffrey clarinet. This one's still in shrink wrap on the uh, Collectibles Jazz Classics label. They did a pretty ugly job uh, reissuing these things with their packaging, but hopefully the sound's good. Coleman Hawkins and Roy Eldridge at the Opera House on Verve. Philly Joe Jones Sextet featuring Nat Adderley and Johnny Griffin Blues for Dracula off of Riverside, another OJC reissue. Uh, Roland Kirk Domino. Originally on Mercury, this is a nice uh, Verve Master Edition Digipack reissue here. Ken McIntyre with Eric Dolphy, Looking Ahead from the Prestige uh, New Jazz label. Charles Mingus, The Clown, originally on Atlantic. This is a uh, Rhino kind of deluxe reissue here. Uh, kind of cool. I remember seeing these when they came out and I was a little confused by the, the packaging. You know, they had just a little tiny reproduction of the artwork, which bothered me, but that's actually just uh, from the booklet. And then inside is a uh, kind of a mini miniature LP reproduction. So you get the original cover art and original back of the LP reproduced. And that's where the CD is, so... Pretty neat. I kind of wish I'd picked up more of those when they came out. I didn't realize they were such cool packages. Uh, Jerry Mulligan and Paul Desmond Quartet on Verve. 
Sonny Rollins, here's a classic Way Out West from Contemporary. Another OJC reissue. Sonny Rollins, uh, music from the score of Alfie. His early uh, MCA. MCA CD reissue of Impulse. I think before GRP started doing them. I think eventually Verve and Universal Music. Tony Scott. Uh, I don't know much about this one on Verve. Zoot Sims, a summer thing uh, from the Laser Light label. Kind of odd. Easy to see. Uh, associate Laser Light with classical music. Sarah Vaughn, uh, I guess this is self titled here. And uh, I'm not sure. I think she recorded for Mercury mostly, but this is a Verve. Master Edition reissue. I actually picked up some Cerebon on vinyl recently and it was no good. It was uh, kind of Cerebon with uh, orchestrations, a lot of strings, and uh, just not my thing. I like this one has some real jazz players on it. Um, Clifford Brown, Herbie Mann, Paul Quinchette, uh, Jimmy Jones, Roy Haynes. So more of a Intimate jazz setting, not the lush string arrangements, just kind of sappy. Um, that's unfortunately what I picked up on vinyl. I'm gonna redonate it. Um, Carmen McRae, uh, getting into the, these are all gonna be vocalists here. Uh, Carmen McRae on Bethlehem. I guess this one's self titled. And here she's with the Matt Matthews Quartet and the Tony Scott Quartet. Another good singer, uh, June Christie. This one's a twofer. Gone for the Day and Fair and Warmer. A couple of her recordings for the Capitol label. She'd been a singer with the uh, Stan Kenton band. June Christie, Something Cool, the complete mono and stereo versions. And these were orchestrated by uh, Pete uh, Rugolo. Rugolo. Chris Connor, All About Ronnie. Um, the Bethlehem recordings. Um, I think she started out with Bethlehem and then ended up on Atlantic Records. These are obviously the Bethlehem years. And then uh, two fur from Chris Connor, a jazz date with Chris Connor, plus the LP Chris Craft. So a couple from her Atlantic, Atlantic recordings here. Uh, Annie Ross. Uh, she was with uh, Lambert, Hendrix, and Ross. Did some really cool vocal jazz stuff. These are uh, kind of her solo and duet type things here. Four classic albums plus from the Avid Jazz label on two CDs. This was the priciest one, I think, at $2. So pretty cool. Um, and a couple uh, interesting things, more modern stuff from the Winter and Winter label featuring uh, Yuri Kane. Who I believe was a piano player. Piano and Fender Rhodes electric piano. This one, uh, Bedrock Cubed or Bedrock 3. And uh, another one here, looks like Ehrlich Primal Light. Interesting things. These are nice little packages here. On sort of textured paper. Pretty neat. And then finally, some electronic music on the uh, was it Innovative Communications? I think that's the label. I can hardly read it without my glasses. Uh, from a outfit called Software. Uh, Innovative Communications was a label that was started. You can hardly see the the logo there, but a label co-founded by uh, Klaus Sosi of uh, Schulze of uh, Tangerine Dream. Um, yeah, to, for just like electronic music, um, this one called Syncode, Symphony for Computer and DNA Molecules, uh, Life in Concert. I'm curious about this. Another one for 50 cents. So that's it. Um, yeah, like I said, I've just been picking up a lot of CDs lately. Um, I don't know, I've always loved CDs. Uh, I've never quit collecting CDs. Um, you know, they take up less space, they're a little more convenient to handle and stuff. Um, 
and they're just dirt cheap right now. So it's a cheap thing to collect at the moment. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.